Dola, this is Tom Herring. I'm going to show you guys my new deer rifle slash truck rifle that replaced my 3030 that I showed you in my starter guns video. This is a JC Higgins Model 51 chambered in 30 6 30 caliber of 06. The original chamber was in 1903, but in 06 they introduced a Spitzer bullet as opposed to a round nose which was the popular gun at the time if you look here you can see where it says oh maybe fn mauser you see it's the mauser action you got the uh bolt release here classic mauser bottom metal uh, mauser well mauser bolt and shroud you know i put the safety on here but it does come with the fn type safety the other one was broke <clears throat> full length extractor for controlled round feed if you notice this is a commercial action there's no cut right here for your thumb and there is no stripper clip guide up here either it's made without that if I had another Mauser here I'd show you I used to have a bunch but I gave them all away to make great gifts you know I killed my first deer with a Mauser 8 millimeter um, a Czechoslovakia made K98 you know a lot of people say you don't really want that rifle because the Czechoslovakians sabotaged them because they were making them for the Nazis. Anyway, the neat thing about these J.C. Higgins, like I said, Sears didn't make anything. They just bought stuff from companies to manufacture put together. Anyway, they slapped their name on there. So, for what you pay, I paid $248 out the door for this rifle. They come with, like I say, FN Action, 22-inch barrel with a chrome bore. That's per the, the manual from J.C. Higgins. And it comes with this sight right here, you know, fix or fix sights, iron sights, and it's drilled and tapped for scopes. Also, it's it's drilled here for a receiver sight, which I'd probably prefer over a scope because this is going to be my truck gun, and I don't really need a scope on a truck gun. Plus, it would bring the cost that I pay for this thing. The first thing I did when I brought it home is I broke the trigger, and it has a strange trigger. It's not your average trigger that they put in Mausers, but this trigger here is a bold or a Boyd Bold Trigger. It's, it's about between two and four pound trigger pull. Very nice trigger. And it fits in there very closely. If you can, it's really close fit in there. But, you know, it all, it works. And it doesn't hit, I don't think. I don't know. But I, I did have to do some file work to get everything to fit. I replaced these bolts here with Allen screws. Like, all the parts of this rifle are readily available because They've been making this style rifle since 1898. It's very popular for uh, people. They've been sporterizing them, using them for builds. So the parts for this rifle are plentiful. Basically, it's a K98 Mauser or a Mauser action. That's what it is. Commercial Mauser, they call it. But here's the main reason I wanted to post this video is that this right here is going to make a very tough, excellent rifle. If I wanted to build it into a tactical rifle, it would be a great place to start. If I wanted to build it into a... Just a pretty rifle, it'd make a beautiful hunting rifle, you know, a beautiful something, an heirloom to pass down. Uh, the guy who had it before me, he put it, this isn't the original stock they come in, but the stock they come in is just fine. This is a Fajin stock, and it's been bedded and free floated. Whoever had it before me put some time and money in it, and they did a very good job. If you, when you take it out of the action, out of the wood, you'll see. But so since I've had it, I had to replace this bolt shroud because the other one worked. But it was just like a little bit, it was about to fall out. So I went ahead and replaced the, the safety in the shroud. And I kept the old one. I'm going to reuse them on another Mauser I got in Texas. I have a VZ, a Czechoslovakia Mauser, which are my favorite, the Czechs and the Germans. But like I say, you know, I love CZs. But anyway, I'm not going to put a scope on this. I'm going to find the foolproof sight my grandpa recommended to put on here because it's an excellent sight. Um, if, you, if you've if you been in the military or shot with competition rifles, you know that the eye naturally focuses the front sight in the center of the peep sight in the back. Plus, another thing is, the closer the sight is to your eye, the easier it is to hold it steady. Plus, you're increasing your sight radius or your sight distance. So that makes it a lot more stable platform. The longer the sight distance, the easier it is to shoot. That's why it's so hard to shoot a, like a, a pistol handgun. Because of short radius, it's hard to hold on target. Plus, you know, you only hold it with one hand. But anyway, here's what I wanted to say. It took me five minutes to do it. But do not discount these rifles. 
the great thing is that you can find them in pawn shops, which is about the only place you're going to find them for a decent price, or in used gun shops. If you see the, a bolt action rifle and you see the name J.C. Higgins or Sears or Ted Williams, then I would bear closer inspection because more than likely they were mostly chambered in 270, 30 6 and 308, unless somebody modified it because they knew what it was. But you're going to find a great rifle for very cheap that's robust. It's going to last you for a lifetime and pass it on to your children. And it's also very customizable. This is a Model 51 from 1950 and 1951. This is a very old rifle, you know, 58 years old. 50, 58 years old. Anyway, before I had this rifle, I had another rifle, a Sears Model 53, which is basically, it was a post-1964 Winchester action. It was chambered, it was a long action, but it was chambered in 308. Somebody took the barrel and cut it to a 30 Baker. Couldn't find ammunition, but it was a very nice rifle. And I took it, I was going to take it to, send it to Mike Lau in Texas to build me a M70 sniper rifle like Carlos Hathcock the second used. Which the rifle, I got the rifle in a trade, so I got the rifle for free basically. But the scope to do that build was going to cost me $1,000 just for the scope, which is a long target scope. I don't know if you've ever seen the Lyman's or the Unardal scopes. They're freaking awesome. Just look up Google, you know. M70 Winchester sniper rifle, and you'll see what I'm talking about. They're just sweet rifles. I just think they're neat. Anyway, I gave the rifle to a friend of mine in California so he could build him a, any kind of rifle. He bought a new 30 6 anyway for hunting, but he wants to build a performance rifle. I think it'd be great. This would be great for a performance rifle. They make a jillion barrels that screw in here, heavy, heavy barrels. They make a jillion stocks, and every part for this rifle is just totally customizable. Like this trigger is an aftermarket performance trigger, like I said, and I've already got it's just it's just begging to be customized but like i said i'm going to keep it anyway the thing is like i said they made these rifles the model 50s and 51s on mauser actions either by fabrique national in belgium or by husqvarna in sweden which is also another a great one and then another manufacturer i'm not sure of but like i said another one is that savage made some and i heard mossberg had also made some but if you know what this action looks like, you know what the Mauser action looks like, it, it should pique your interest. Also, if you're familiar with the Winchester Model 70 Post 64 action, that would also be another great rifle. I don't know too much about the, um, the Mossberg, what they copied their action from, but the Savage, basically, I believe it'd be the 110, and it would be a great rifle too if you could get it. But then again, you can get a Savage so cheap, so, you know, really, you got to see where your cost, where your savings is going to be at. So... I just want to impart on you that I found this rifle and I was giddy to find it. I was actually looking for a Mossberg ATR 100 or Savage or Stevens, a cheap base so I could build a performance rifle. And I seen this one for 248 out the door and I jumped on it, you know. And the Savage and, and Mossberg are about 300 out the door anyway, brand new. But like I say, you're not going to get the, the build quality. This is built in Belgium by Fabrique National. Great. These guys, they know their stuff. You know, they're actually... I believe they supply all the machine guns used by the armed forces in the United States. And they also make the M16 along with Colt for the military. So I would actually, you know, keep an eye out for this kind of stuff. You know, you never know what you're going to get. If you see something with Sears on it or J.C. Higgins or Ted Stevens, look closer because it just might be a rebadged Winchester, Fabrique Nationale, Husqvarna, Mossberg, Remington. You never know. They Everybody made them for them. They just put their own name on it. So good luck hunting, okay, guys?